Okay, so with season 9, it's coming to an end very shortly. I mean, we, we literally have just about a week left in uh, season 9. So with just about all of the most recent seasons of uh, Fortnite, there, there's usually an end event. And I mean, this event for season 9 was the robot versus monster fight. But uh, is that really it? Is there going to be more? I found some info regarding all of the previous battle passes that tell a story that everybody has been missing and uh, I'll teach you guys exactly that in today's video. Real quick though, make sure to hit the like button on today's video. It would be insane if we could smash 10,000 likes. It, it would make me extremely happy. As well, we were blowing up right now. I mean, a couple days ago, we hit 400,000 subscribers and a face reveal at 500k. So if you guys want to see that, feel free to subscribe if you do enjoy today's video. But uh, I I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's begin. So over the, the past two years, it there's always been hype for every new battle pass that Fortnite releases. And uh, there there's usually these YouTube videos of people coming up with these theories of what the next battle pass might be. And all of them are usually wrong because... Uh, Fortnite, they're, they've been hiding it from us. Not too long ago, I, I wanted to figure out what Fortnite was doing. I wanted to crack the Battle Pass code or the, the brand new season codes because obviously they, they do a lot of hints. Fortnite, their game, they're known for hinting towards the future and uh, we, we've all been missing this, but in every single Battle Pass, they, they've been telling us exactly what happens throughout the season. Way back in season 2, I mean the theme of the season 2 battle pass was knights, it was medieval, all that stuff, but it had nothing to do with space, which was pretty interesting because at tier 24, there was a space banner and uh, that was actually hinting towards the season 3 theme, which uh, it, it was space, which was pretty interesting. Between season 2 and season 3, there was no event, there were no cinematics and uh, that that's because, I mean, Fortnite way back, it, it wasn't blown up. They didn't have the money, they didn't have the team to produce the type of events that they do nowadays. With Season 2 already predicting what the Season 3 Battle Pass theme was going to be, literally space, that's exactly what Season 3 was. But Season 3, it brought even more to the table. At the end of Season 3, there was a massive meteor event where a, a massive meteor or an asteroid or whatever hit Dusty David, creating the massive hole that we still have in the map today. And uh, that was actually predicted or hinted at in the Battle Pass, just nobody really caught on to it. In tier 86 of the Season 3 Battle Pass, there is the Kaboom banner, and uh, it, it's literally hinting towards the massive asteroid or meteor that would once hit Dusty Divot, and you could even see that this explosion, it was massive in the, the Season 4 cinematic trailer. I mean, it, it literally just blew up the entire map it looked like. Not only did the Season 3 Battle Pass predict this massive explosion, it also predicted the new rockets that would happen in Season 4. It might just be a coincidence, but it kind of makes sense. I mean, Tier 22, it's literally a rocket, as well as Tier 46, there's a pickaxe with a rocket, but it gets a little more interesting. In Tier 16, there is a paw print banner, or a little paw print thing and it, it kind of foreshadowed what was going to happen in season four i mean in season four we started to see these paw prints on the ground around the map which were never there in season three as well as a t-rex skull in tier 99 which uh obviously that that footprint it looks to be like a dinosaur's footprint now with no doubt about it fortnite season four it, it literally blew the entire gaming community away i mean they had their first ever live event which uh, nobody really knew anything about until uh it actually went down it shocked a lot of people and that was the rocket launch i'm i i'm not sure if any of you guys remember that but uh, it, it was pretty sick now that rocket launch it, it was at the very end of season four it's what led season four into season five with a lot of hype and if you don't remember from the rocket launch it goes straight up into the sky and then it goes out from a rift to another rift to the other side of the map destroying like buildings and stuff eventually leaving a massive crack in the sky which uh it, it was a massive rift like thing since rifts were not added into the game until season 5 in season 4 tier 54 there was an abstract spray and uh, it, it looks exactly like a rift and this was definitely hinting towards the massive rifts and rifts that were created into the game after this event which uh, none of us really caught on to it because everybody kind of just looked past the spray but it actually was telling us a message that nobody knew now season 5 this was a pretty interesting one because uh, it, it obviously uh, there was nothing I could find that would predict it to something later on in the season or even into the next season. This is where I could not break the code 
and it doesn't fit the pattern that Fortnite is used to doing. The closest thing I could find is a tomato head loading screen. In season 5 in week 7, Tomato Town was converted into Tomato Temple and this loading screen basically showed a flashback of uh, Tomato Town when it was first opening which was strange because uh, if we looked at it at the very beginning we wouldn't expect Tomato Town to turn into like a destroyed temple so I guess that's like the closest foreshadowing thing I could find in this battle pass. Leading up from season 6 all the way to season 9 this is where stuff gets crazy. Season 6 the massive event was a cube island explosion over Loot Lake. In season 5 the cube melted into Loot Lake season 6 it was this massive floating island and even there were banners of the the island floating that didn't mean anything because uh, we already saw the island. Throughout the season the massive cube Kevin the cube which was holding up the island slowly towards the end it started to crack which would eventually explode and you go into this massive portal which uh, you would end up meeting a butterfly and it would kind of appear in front of you. I was shocked to see that the battle pass it actually predicted both of these events in season 6 tier 50 there is a banner what looks to be like a crack the exact same way Kevin the Cube cracked and uh, th this is tier 50 exactly halfway through the battle pass and exactly halfway through season 6 is when we first started to notice the cracks in Kevin the Cube. As well as tier 77 there is this bug with uh, of course wings which possibly could have symbolized the, the butterfly you would meet while you are in like this other dimension sort of thing during the event that went down right after the island exploded. Season 7, it was actually a pretty interesting one. This one is, uh, I, I of course really didn't play Fortnite during this time, so I don't know too much. Uh, but of course, Season 7, the Ice King event, was a big thing that went down. And it didn't really hit much towards the Ice King. Throughout the season, there happened to be a massive ice ball that would form up above Polar Peak. And uh, in there, it had the Ice King inside of it. In Tier 8, there's an Icy Heart emoticon, which of course kind of hints towards uh, the, the heart of the monster. The heart is engraved in all of this ice, and that's exactly what the Ice King was. It was uh, the heart of the king in the middle of this massive ice ball. The Season 7 Battle Pass also hinted towards Season 8, where it would introduce these bananas onto the map where you could consume it, as well as uh, unlock a skin named Peely at Tier 47, which, uh, of course, a lot of people use. But but I mean way back in season 7 the last thing we thought Fortnite would add into the game was a bunch of bananas around the map as well as even a skin but I guess they were hinting at something here as well. Now into season 8 this is where stuff gets a little interesting about the battle pass predicting the next event season 8 tier 89 the angry volcano it's basically foreshadowing what was going to happen at the end of season 8 and that is basically where the volcano erupts and the what what is this it's obviously a, a angry volcano erupting now also in season 8 there was the unvaulting event where we we finally got the drum gun back i mean good choice epic gamers we we definitely wanted that back now during this event there was a table with a chair in front of the orb that we now see in season 9 that that's not really a hint but on the table singularity's helmet was literally sitting there in front of our faces and everybody totally looked past it but little did we know that would be something that we'd see in season 9 and it, it, it'll play a role in the story now season 8 it, it literally ends in the kaboom i mean the volcano erupted the battle pass predicted that with tier 89 now on to season 9 this is where stuff gets pretty crazy Season 9 tier 85, there is a robot spray paint and uh, way back at the beginning of the season we had no idea there was literally going to be a robot built, I mean up till about a month ago we, we had no idea of any robots. Now as for the monster there were two things that could have signified it, I mean tier 65 the Molten Legends banner it literally shows a dragon which basically kind of kind of what the dinosaur was or the but it may have been hinting towards that or even tier 50 th there is a dinosaur which uh, could have signified what the monster could have been now with no doubt about it it's been leaked that the orb in the middle of loot lake it is soon to get unstable and eventually explode which tier 78 there, there's literally a banner of an explosion and uh, that that could be referencing the orb that is going to explode, but uh, it's a little bit more deep than that. The orb in the middle of the Loot Lake, it, it's literally powering the entire city of Neo Tilted as well as the Slipstream and the, the, the cables that connect to Loot Lake all the way up uh, around the Slipstream and even into Neo Tilted. 
it, it's starting to rip and it looks like it's going to break very soon which uh in an official video from fortnite of the world cup trailer it shows this player's face as well as part of the screen which uh could be the map leaked i mean you could literally see the entire slipstreams trail and it, it's purple as well as a lot of the map it, it's like blacked out it's as if there was a power outage which makes a lot of sense because the cable's ripping in tier 97 there is a power surge wrap and a power surge is basically uh, a spike in your home's electrical current where it'll cause a lot of damage basically the electrical goes out or it spikes and uh, th there's like no power at times could this wrap be hinting towards something that's going to happen at the end i mean it's literally the last item you get in tier 94 you have the neon glow banner and in order for the neon to glow i mean it, it literally looks like the map in the background it's dark outside it's as if it's night or there's no power at all now the map it, it totally looks destroyed it looks post-apocalyptic almost as if maybe the dragon from tier 65 or tier 80 the heat it, it it sent the dragon out to destroy the world or maybe even the storm that is mentioned in tier 75 tier 77 as well as tier 84 there might be a storm that overlooks the entire map and uh, it, it kind of wipes it out it destroys it it destroys a lot of power the map is totally dark i don't want to stretch this video out too much but uh, th there's definitely going to be something to do with a power outage at the very end of the season and the main thing i wanted to get across in today's video is that the battle passes you look into them and we can figure out what will happen later on in the season and i'm going to try my best to do that for season 10.